Some of the most fun that you're going to have with Sure Cuts a Lot involves going online and downloading the free SVG files that are available. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to bring up my web browser and I'm going to navigate to www.svgcuts.com slash blog. Once on the home page, click on the free SVG downloads button. And you'll notice that as we scroll down, every single one of these pictures is, is a link to a page that contains a download for a free SVG file. So I'm going to click on Fritzy the Frog. This is from January 16, 2010. And on this site, downloading the free SVG file is as simple as either clicking on the picture here or clicking where it says click here to begin your download. So I'm going to go ahead and click. And in this case, since I'm using Firefox, it asks me, what do I want to do? Do I want to save this zip file or do I want to open it? No matter what operating system or web browser you're using, I'm going to suggest that you save the file. You always want to save the file. So I'm going to hit OK. You'll notice that when I clicked to save the file, the computer didn't ask me where to save the file. It just asked me, do I want to open it or save it? I always want to save it, but the question is, where did it save it to? Well, if you're running Firefox, you can go to Tools, and you can go to Options, and right on the main page of the Options window, it says here, Save Files to Downloads. Okay, so that's the folder that it's going to be saved to. If you want to change that and be able to specify where you save your files to, you simply click on this box here, or this little radio button that says, Always Ask Me Where to Save Files. And I'm going to check that and hit OK. Now watch, I'm going to do it again. I'm going to click on the frog. I'm going to hit Save. And now this time, a window comes up and it asks me, Where do you want to save this file? I'm going to place it on the desktop for now. And I'm going to hit Save. And I'm going to minimize this and we're going to go to the desktop here. Okay, and there's my zip file. Okay, now you'll notice, when I say zip file, I mean a compressed file. It's basically like a tightly packaged suitcase that contains one or more files. And you'll know that it's a zip file because it has a little zipper on it. A zip file needs to be unzip or opened up or extracted before you can use the contents. Okay, and we do that by double clicking. And by doing so, you'll notice that you can see the contents, but you also have this option here to extract all the files. And we're going to click on that. And when we do that, the extraction wizard comes up and it tells us the extraction wizard helps you copy files from inside a zip archive. Okay, so we're going to hit next. The next step is simply asking us where we want to save the file to. Okay, by default, it's going to save it into another folder by the same name in the same location except it won't be a zip file and I'll show you exactly what I mean here. You can just hit next. Okay, and then you have the option of showing your extracted files. We don't have to do that. We can do that. There's no right or wrong here. I'm going to uncheck this and hit finish. Okay, so now I'm going to close my zip folder and you can tell it's a zip folder because of the zipper here. And you'll notice that on the desktop we have two folders named the same exact thing except one has a zipper and one doesn't. Okay, The one that doesn't have a zipper on it is an actual folder that is ready to use. Okay, So we can technically delete the zip file now because we've got our files. And I'll show you here if we open this up. The option to extract is no longer here. And our files are right here. They're ready to go. So I'm going to close this and I can take my zip file and drag it to the trash. Now once we have this folder here, we can right click and rename it and we can call it Fritzy the Frog. Okay, And you can place this folder wherever you want. In a later video, I'll show you how to organize all of your SVG files in one nice folder. Okay, so we've got our folder. Inside that folder are the two SVG files and there's also a GIF file in here. The website that I downloaded this, this file from, svgcuts.com slash blog, uh, they include a card that basically um, shows you the terms of use for that file. And you can either keep that so that you know where it's from, or you can discard it. It doesn't really matter. So I'm going to close this window. Now I'm going to open up my shortcuts a lot. 
And with SureCut's lot open, as I've demonstrated in previous videos, you can click on the Import SVG option or click on the File Import SVG option and then locate your folder, whether it be under My Documents or on the desktop. In this case, it's on the desktop. And there's Fritzy the Frog. Okay. And here's the bottom layer. And here's the top layer. Okay. I'm going to bring in the bottom layer first. And I can highlight it and hit open. Or I can double click. Okay. And there it is. Now, this is a multi layered SVG file. So basically, you'll cut it out of two different colors of paper and layer one layer on top of the other. Now this file was designed so that you can easily size it and it will automatically fit properly. So let's say that we're making a card and we want to make the frog about four inches wide. So now that I have them selected, I can go over here under the properties window, click the keep proportions button, and type in the number four and hit enter on my keyboard. The keep proportions button allows me to resize the width and automatically adjust the height so that the frog stays in proportion. The frog was designed with a certain proportion in mind. Now if you, let me go back here and I'll show you. If we try to change the width without keeping proportions, that's just going to change the width. It's not going to alter the height. So let's say we change that to 6. Okay, now you see how he's skewed now. If I go back and I highlight him, keep proportions and I type 6. When I do that, it will automatically lock the width and the height and adjust him so that it keeps its proportions, okay? So I'm going to actually size him to 5 inches wide. Okay, now I've got the bottom layer. I'm going to deselect him by clicking away from him. And now I'm going to go to file and import SVG. And then I'm going to bring in the top of the frog. Okay, so I double click, and there's the top of the frog. Okay, and I'm going to click on this one just to make sure that he is five inches wide. Now I'm going to click here, keep proportions, and type the number five into the width and hit enter. And now you'll notice that if we take and drag him, that fits perfectly. Okay, so the top part fits right there, and the bottom part fits right there. You can cut them out of two different colors of paper on one mat, or you can cut each piece out one at a time. Now, not all SVG files out on the internet have this ability to, to be sized easily, which is why I brought you to svgcuts.com slash blog. Any file you find there will be just like this one here if it has multiple layers. So that's pretty much it. That's all that's really involved in downloading an SVG file and using it in sure cuts a lot. Go ahead and visit the site and download some more and have some fun with it.